Yes, hello there guys, girls, people of the internet and the YouTube gaming community. My name is Beepo Gaming and today we're doing a very exciting Assassin's Creed Empire video. I'm going to list my top 5 largest cities and places to visit in Assassin's Creed Empire. So let's get straight into the video. Now guys, the first city is Philae and now this is an island in southern Egypt and was originally located near the Nile River. The island was the site of an ancient Egyptian temple complex which was built in honour of the goddess Aset. Now in 1340, the assassin Numa al-Hasim and his disciple Ali al-Ghabi were summoned to this set island by an assassin elder to discuss the recent theft of the scepter of Asset by the Templars. Now guys, this location looks really cool because it's on a separate island. Now what if these, these, <laughs> this could be used as the assassin's base of operations, you know, it's very discreet, very, you know, out of the way, you'd have to find secret passages or no, just different passwords actually get in to the base. So guys, that is number 5 and that is Villet. Now guys, next on our list is Edfu. Now Edfu is a city in Egypt located on the west bank of the Nile River. The city is the site of an ancient Egyptian temple complex. Now in 1341, the assassin disciple Al Ali al ghabi was tasked by Numa al-Hasim to safeguard the scepter of Asset in the temple of Edfu, while Numa was away. Now upon his return to the temple complex, Numa was tricked and killed by the Templar agent, Layla. Guys, you find out a really, you know, uh, numerous ongoings with Assassin's Creed Egypt and Empire, whereas piece of Eden that's really prominent is the Scepter of Asset. Now this uh, piece of Eden just, you know, controls people and it also uh, boosts morale, that type of stuff. It was very much a piece of Eden that was very much used between like 300 BC to up until now really. But this location, it looks enormous, it looks gigantic. It personally to me feels like it could be where uh, William in Assassin's Creed 3 got his uh, power uh, cube from to actually, you know, show us Judo's memories and that type of stuff. That kind of looks like what it is. Now obviously guys, these temples are massive, they're going to be huge, um, probably tall, probably the same size as Notre Dame was in Assassin's Creed Unity. And maybe who were, who were they built by? The Egyptians or by the first civilization? Now guys, the next location is Karnak. Now Karnak is a complex of decayed temples and pylons in Egypt. It is located 2.5 kilometers north of Luxor. Now in 1340, Egyptian Templars fled to Karnak after stealing the scepter of Asset from the reigning Sultan Al Nasir Muhammad. Next year, the next year, sorry, the Egyptian assassin Numa Al Hasim and his apprentice Ali Ghabi entered uh, encountered the Templars at the temple complex. Ali then started a fire for distraction so that Numa was able to look for the scepter of Asset unnoticed. However, the distractions not effective well, was not effective and Numa became surrounded by Templars. While the assassin engaged in battle with his enemies, Ali stole the ankh-shaped box containing the dis dissembled scepter from the Templars. Ali and Numa then fled from Karnak, taking the artifact with them. Now, decayed temples and pylons. This is like it'd be really fun to have an uncharted type-esque uh, side missions where you have to go and actually dig and find and adventure throughout the different temples and complexes to find, you know, different weapons, different gear, armor, or even a special set of armor like we had at Armor Brutus or the armor of Altair. That is very interesting, but it looks very dead, it looks very boring, and I just don't feel like it would be fun enough to actually play a game or have the game based around that. Now guys, the second location is Alexandra. Now Alexandra is the second largest city of Egypt, located along the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. It is named after the Macedonian king Alexander the Great, who founded the city around 3031 BC. Uh, 331 sorry, BCE. Now in 30 BCE, the Egyptian queen Cleopatra was killed by was killed in Alexandria by the assassin Amunet with an asp. Now during the 1240s, the widow of the assassin Sef ibn La'ad moved to the city with their children after having spent some time in exile in Alumat. In 1257, Sef's brother Darren moved to Alexandria to be with his family after the Mongols started besieging the assassin's fortress of Masayef. A descendant of Altair named Iskender became the mentor of the assassins in Egypt and was headquartered in Alexandria. When he was captured and scheduled for ex execution, Ezio Aditore sent some assassins to save him from his demise. The Templar Uday Dunkers also relocated into the city for some time around 1505 after being driven away from his home by his family. In 1511, during an excavation of the destroyed Library of Alexandria, the Mamluk Sultan and soldiers discovered two memory seals in a chest from 1331 BC. Ezra de sent some assassins from Constantinople to Alexandria to reveal to retrieve the seal. Now the ending of that is very interesting to me. This means that um, some at some point in the 1331 uh, BC, an assassin created these memory seals. That means they knew 
oh, that that means they knew of the uh, ones who came before. They knew about Juno. They knew about the uh, sages. They knew about that. That means we have an actual in. We have an in to being able to play as a different character from that timeline. We don't need an ancestor now. We don't need to have someone in the modern day to be have that blood because we can just go out and find the memory seals. And then that just leads into the assassins and Templars conflict and again, trying to find the memory seals before each other, which is just an amazing storyline. Now guys, Alexandria is of course a massive, massive city. It would be amazing to find out. It would probably be, I don't know, what, two times bigger than London was in Assassin's Creed Egypt, which I am all for, because then you can have all the city, the bustling, uh, the crime, the the merchandise, the merchandise, the market stalls, you can have the different uh, pyramids to the side of it, the different parties, it's, it's, it's just amazing to like look at Alexandria now and just realise how good it could have been back in uh, BC, BC times, which is just amazing. Now guys, the second one is Cairo. Now Cairo is the capital of Egypt and the largest city in the Middle East and Africa. Now Cairo was founded by Jawah al hazirki the Syrian of Fatimid dynasty in the 10th century CE, but the land composing the present day city was the site of national capitals whose remnants remain visible in parts of old Cairo. Now Cairo is also associated with ancient Egypt as it is close to the ancient cities of Memphis, Giza and Fustat, which are near the Great Sphinx and the Pyramids of Giza. By the middle of the 13th century, both the Assassin Brotherhood and Knights Templar had presence in the city. In 1340, both the Assassins and Templars were looking for a piece of Eden known as the Scepter of Asset. The Assassin Numa al-Hasim was heavily involved in the conflict in the city. Now, In August 1794, the Assassin Arno Dorian sent an Apple of Eden he found in the St. Denis Temple to be held by the mentor of the Assassins in Cairo. In late 2012, William Miles, the leader of the Assassins, travelled to Cairo to obtain a power source for the Grand Temple from the Egyptian Museum and arrived there on the 9th of December. Two days later, William was captured by the Templar's Sigma team, led by Johanni Otto Berg, and brought to Abstego Industries facility in Rome. Cairo is an amazing city. Present day, it's insane. The amount of culture that's there just expands and grows ever more throughout the rest of the, your time that you go there. Now, as we know, the Templar Knights and the Scepter of Assets, there, it's the main part of Assassin's Creed uh, history for Egypt. And I I would love to be able to, you know, find out more about the actual Scepter of Asset through in the game. I'll be able to find out more about the Brotherhood and how Altair's family went there, why they get there, and how well they improved the Brotherhood. Now, the city itself is massive. I'd say three, four times bigger than Assassin's Creed Syndicate's London, mainly because it looks awesome. Like, who... It reminds me of a mix of Messiah and and Rome from the previous Assassin's Creed games because it just looks amazing. So guys, that's been my top five Assassin's Creed Empire locations that we could visit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to click that like button down below if you have. And guys, comment down below where you want to go in the next Assassin's Creed game. Let me know. And guys, see you in the next video. Bye for now and have a great day.